really, really proud of our kids. I think when we when we showed up uh, Saturday, you could see the rest, all of the early the early mistakes and and a lot of things that we did uncharacteristically to start the series. But you know, that's a testament to uh, to how resilient those kids are. They just put it behind them, and they just kept grinding and playing. So then, when you get to Sunday, it doesn't matter what happens on Sunday. If if you win in the in the bottom of the ninth, or you can you can blow a team away. Sunday Sunday's the day where it's all about who wants it. Comes down to a test of will. So. Good day on Sunday for the Cajuns. Baseball and softball. Very characteristic of two teams that are that are mentally tough and resilient. Are you worried? Any concerns at all with the first road deal? For me, personally. Well, no. See if my train no, comes no, no. in the van. Just the team. And The schedule, uh, Coach Robichaud and I were just talking about it. The schedule has worked out really good for us. We we intentionally did this to give our team some 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 of the home cooking, some comfort of being at home. Now we're ready. It's there. It's time. It's time to get on the bus and it's time to get on the road and. There's some things that this team still needs to face, and there's some things that this team still needs to learn. <coughs> Championship teams are built on the road, and it's built through adversity, and it's built through overcoming things that are get that get put in front of you. So it's time. We need the adversity. We need to get on the road, and we need we. It's time for the next test to see what this team is made of. How tricky is this series considering you're playing a program that's used to winning and they haven't been doing well? And you're on the road. I don't I don't even know their record until they just mentioned it. And I don't remember what happened last year. I seriously don't. I don't remember what happened five years ago. And it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean we have a totally new team and so does she. I'm not getting caught up. When I was younger, I got caught up in all that. Now, the ball, the ball don't know. The ball don't understand. The ball don't understand all that drama. And God knows, I don't need any more drama. Okay. So you're not looking at records. Oh. How do you prepare yourself? What stands out? Or do you just worry about yourselves? This is what you and I talked about yesterday after the game. The takeaway right now is not conference standings, it's not records, it's growth and development. I don't know what y'all are seeing on that end, but on this end, I'm seeing, I'm seeing our freshman pitcher continue to grow and develop. I'm seeing that kid behind the plate becoming more consistent at the plate. I'm seeing DJ Sanders not only become a clutch hitter, but a clutch defender. I'm seeing Kara Grimio continue to develop into a leadoff hitter, changing her approach, and also continue to play shutdown defense. I'm seeing our senior leader, the heart and soul of our team, go from first base to right field to two hole to fight to whatever I ask her to do, she's gonna do. That's what I keep saying. There's so much more to the game than who wins, who loses, what happened five years ago. They, are you watching really the growth and development of a bunch of young kids who are gonna be hopefully the rock of this program for the next three or four years? He's, Tony's going to come talk about it in a second. What Sunday, Sunday is about is about a mindset. 
You're not at your physical best. I mean, the weekend is taking its toll on you. Emotionally, it's taking its toll on you. You've experienced some failure and some adversity. Sunday, you have to show up. And the other team, it doesn't matter if you beat them 20 times by 20 runs. They're going to show up too. You're not just going to keep beating somebody and beating somebody and beating somebody on Sunday. It's a test of will. Everybody's playing. If the team that just got beat twice, they're, they're showing up to play for pride. And the team that just beat the other team twice, they're just going to get overconfident and maybe want to go eat dinner for an hour or longer or maybe not do their protocol as hard as they need to do post-game. All of those things that the mind starts rationalizing and you have to stay disciplined and you have to stay true to the grind and you have to, it's hard to beat a team three times in a row, no matter who it is. It's hard to win a rubber game. Those are, those are what make coaches proud of their teams and starts building and, and making champions. That's, that's to me what it's all about. There's moments in series that define the team. Define you as a player, define you as a team. There's certain moments that present itself that it's time to step up to, the, to that moment. Our kids did it. We haven't done it in the past, but we, we did it yesterday. That's a good sign.